Five Webflow websites that are minimalistic, easy to build, and I find them jaw dropping. The first one is for Stride's social health app. Let's start scrolling through this and see what happens, and then I'll break down why I think this is so great. So as we're scrolling through this, it basically feels like we're going through a presentation, right? Each slide, very little text, image, and then this very nice interaction with the scroll here, zooming into the stride and let's make strides together with a very simple call to action. This website is actually so minimalistic. There's not even a navigation here, just a main call to action. Again, you're scrolling through this, feels like there's no sections, more like a story that every slide is changing. Um, really feels like, again, like maybe like an investor's presentation here, each slide, but there's always animation going on. There's always feels like there's motion and there's depth, right? Each slide comes on top of the slide before. Actually very easy to build, but gives the effect of really nicely built, high quality website, so simple yet beautiful. Let's see how this works on mobile. Sometimes these concepts don't work well on mobile, but I'm scrolling through this actually works the same way, right? The text breaks a little bit different, but each slides instead of two columns, it's just one column, but it works well. Everything fits. You get basically the same experience, even reacts to your scroll position here. Works very well on mobile. So I think overall this website does really, really well. The next website is Accordion, which is a production company. Let's scroll through this motion and stills. Note how this plus sign animates into basically a rectangular and then now grows into becoming our screen. And now they're using this concept of Accordion to basically be the Accordion, kind of like a slider of the production that they were working on. Very smooth interaction, beautiful layout and beautiful typography. I love how they combine these big ser sans serif motion and stills with this very beautiful serif font that makes it look kind of like premium and nice. And these very small texts here brings the, the vibe of the cinema into this production company website. Looks really, really well. Uh, beautiful typography and uh, yeah, very, feels like very from the cinema world. Um, beautiful. Let's see how this was developed on mobile. So as we're scrolling through this, we're getting the same, well, we don't have the exact same animation that we had previously, but we still have most of the layout. We still have this carousel is not working with by swiping left and right. You see less of it but I still think that it works. Conceptually, everything is still here. There's a little bit less of the um, minor text interaction that we had, but in terms of layout and the context, I think everything still works very, very well. And the website looks fantastic on mobile as well. The next website that we have is Reddish. It's an agency. Now this is a very minimalistic website. You know, you, you have big type, which I'm sucker for, and then you've got the images on top of scrolling, the radishes scrolling on top of it. Actually feels like this is kind of like a label that you buy on a product in the supermarket with the barcode here. Uh, and then the beautiful thing about this, so this is a very simple uh, page as well. You've got this employees where you hover on top of them they do something funny. But the real cool thing about this website is that note how we're scrolling down, but now we're in the beginning again. So because this is a very, very short page, they've created an infinite loop. And I find this very, very cool because you can keep doing this forever, although there's not much content in the website. So again, just big, beautiful type with layering of images and type to create depth creates a very, very cool feeling here. Let's see how this was adapted in mobile. So pretty much the same, very easy to adapt, right? We've got the text in the center. The only thing that I think we're missing here is that we don't have hover interactions over the images of the people. So I'm trying to click them, but I don't see them changing kind of like uh, we were, so we're missing this kind of like fun effect that we had on desktop. But besides that, most of the content is there. And I think this works pretty well on mobile as well. The next website that we have, super minimalistic, Yambo Studio, uh, my friend who has a 3D 
agency and are doing phenomenal work. So simple. You just have the client works. And when you're hover on top of them, you see the client name and the video in the background. How simple and beautiful this is. Let the work speak. If you've got beautiful work, you don't need much, right? Just hover, see a video. So simple and so beautiful. You can scroll through this and you get an amazing list of clients. Again, hover on top of something, see an image. So simple, not much to it, right? Very, very clean, little bit of type, but it just creates this beautiful effect. If you take something away from this video is just picking up an amazing font, putting it and letting it shine on your website doesn't need much more than this, right? Let's see how this works in mobile because as I've mentioned, we don't have the hover state on mobile. So let's see how they solve this. So what happens here is as I'm scrolling, basically I'm scrolling through the list of clients and we're getting to focus on one client at a time, Google, Nike, right? Sightful, Apple. So I'm scrolling through this, basically uh, replacing the hover effect with the scroll and then I'm getting into the full client list. So they solve this, I think, in a very, very uh, beautiful way by just replacing the hover with scroll. So you have to see all the project, but it also creates this very cool effect as we're scrolling through this. And I think this is a very beautiful solution for this website. Lastly, we have the website of Q Industrial. Again, all we have here is this element, 3D element rotating and on beautiful big type, all you need. Other than that, very minimalistic, you see a lot of white space, but just type that is organized well on the screen with one element, you don't need more than that, right? It's a basic, you can say sans serif font, but it's so well made, so beautiful that as you just need one sentence on the screen and an image to have your website look really, really great. Note how much empty space we've got here. Just clean layout, small text with great hierarchies, just looks phenomenal. You don't need more than that to create a beautiful and professional website. Let's see how this was implemented on mobile. So for this website, as we're scrolling, the element, the 3D element is not staying on screen because I guess that would be too intrusive. So we're kind of missing this scroll effect and we're just staying with the type and the content still looks very, very good, right? They chose functionality over um, trying to be fancy with interactions and stuff like that, focusing on mobile, but it works very well. All the content is here and the website looks really, really great. To me, these websites show that if you know your Webflow chops, you don't need much more than clean layout, beautiful type to create jaw dropping websites. If you want to know how each of them was built, let me know in the comment which one and we might build a tutorial on how to build them. And if you're interested in learning Webflow, make sure you check out our free crash course on YouTube.